Hey gang, when I was 11 years old, I made a decision for Jesus. I walked down this aisle in a little Baptist church in Gas City, Indiana, and I, I think I filled out a card and I talked to the pastor. Uh, but I did that because all of the people around me had something that I didn't. They had God in them. And man, I wanted that. And the pastor had given basically an evangelistic message and had and had shared the gospel and, and basically made it very clear there's nothing you need to do. It's, it's kind of like a gift and you just have to say yes. You just have to receive it. And I was like, okay, yes. A few weeks later, I was baptized. And, and back then, uh, you couldn't bring cameras into a church service and you couldn't take pictures of things. And so even if people had done that, even if they could have captured that moment on film, they couldn't have captured what was going on, not on the inside. Baptism is like that. It, they say that uh, baptism is an outward sign of an inward work of grace. And we like to say at Generations that baptism is a way to go public. It's a way to kind of tell everybody, hey, there's something that's happened on the inside, something between me and God, and, and you got to know. I, I want you in on it. I want you to know what's happened to me. And so on Sunday, August 20th, we're going to have a round of baptisms at Generations Community Church, people who have a story not unlike mine, but theirs is different because it's their story. But I want to challenge some of you right now to consider baptism because you know what? You haven't been baptized. You've gotten to a point where you've said, yes, yes, you've made Jesus your savior and your king. You're letting Jesus lead in your life. You are letting him change you. Your time with Jesus has changed you and is changing you and, and you're on mission. It's not perfect, it's messy, but you're starting to care and you care about the things that Jesus cared about. You know what? You should go public with that. You should get baptized this year. You know, last year when it came around and you were like, eh, you know, I really should do that, and you're putting it off, don't put it off. We're making it easy. It's Sunday, August 20th. It's in the morning, uh, right during the Sunday morning service. We've got, we ran out of golf course on Sundays, and we're all going to, Spend a little bit of time in the big room, and then we're all going to march out to the swimming pool. It's a 25-meter pool. We have plenty of water, all right? So I want to challenge you if, you. if this has been something that you've been thinking to yourself, you know what? I need to do this. I'm, I, I'm ready for this. I want people to know. Talk to me. Email me. Contact me because we need to have a conversation. August 20th is coming around, as they say in the South, right quick. So mark your calendars. Sunday, August 20th is Baptism Sunday, and it's taking place in the morning. And we're going to do it rain or shine. Uh, the only thing that will change that if it, is if there's thunder. All right, gang, I hope you're having a great weekend and enjoying this wonderful fall weather that has arrived. <laughs> okay, get the fireplaces ready. That's all I know this week, and I will see you Sunday at Generations. This Sunday is a carry-in, uh, and we have our friends from another part of the world. So I can stay on YouTube. At any rate, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.